now is Dan Gaynor from the Media Research Center. And Dan, I, I was so excited to have you here today because, you know, it was widely reported, certainly yesterday, that, uh, that Donald Trump and his administration never informed the Department of Homeland Security about the temporary order that they were putting in place that would block people from seven countries, refugees, from coming here. Uh, and it was picked up by mainstream media pretty much everywhere. The New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, everybody was out reporting that, gosh, you know, isn't this crazy? Donald Trump never told General Kelly, Secretary Kelly of Homeland Security, what was going on. Then only to find out, of course, General Kelly, Secretary Kelly, came out and gave a press conference and said, no, actually, you know what? I did know what was going on. I think we have some sound from it that I want to play for you, Dan. Here we go. It's the sound where he said... From day one, in terms of the inauguration, uh, finishing touches, I, I would have to put it that way, were being put on the executive order. As I say, the high-level uh, folks in the government, uh, attorneys as well, were, were part of that. People on my staff were generally involved. Um, I guess probably Wednesday, I think we, we learned, went Tuesday, Wednesday, that it would probably be during the week that it would be signed out. Forgive me, you just heard me talking to the director saying it was this particular soundbite when he was talking about how his staff had been involved and he found out Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, Dan, I guess what's interesting to me and perhaps extremely sad to me is that one, these organizations got the reporting wrong. And then when the administration came out and clarified it, instead of actually taking that entire press conference and showing the viewer, they got right out of it. CNN backed right off of that. MSNBC backed right off of that. They just, you know, didn't cover the press conference at that point. It, what, how do you react to that? Well, it reminds me of the movie Cool Hand Luke. It, <laughs> what we have here is a failure to communicate accurately. And that's, you know, the media have a preconceived agenda here. They wanted to pick the administration in, you know, in chaos. Uh, chaos is the New York Times headline word, you know, administration in global chaos. And, and anything that conflicts with that agenda, they don't want to push. I mean, so it's crazy, you though. You, you sit there and you, you go with that story all morning long, and then suddenly it's corrected, and you don't show the viewer the correction? You don't even issue a correction? Yeah, you open up your New York Times today, you can find, I think it was eight different corrections, including several involving obits, all of them, re, you know, real silly minutia. But here is a, you know, the seminal point of, of their global chaos story being unleashed. And General Kelly says it's bogus. But of course, the, you know, the media want to push that agenda, and so you won't see them back in water. They'll just kind of move well, on and act like it never happened. That's not good. And, you know, I'm all for being a skeptic, and as journalists, we need to be skeptics. However, this is bordering on something else entirely, and that's showing an agenda and then pushing an agenda on the opposite side. Anyway, Dan, it's always good to see you. Thank you, sir. We're going to take a quick break, and we're back right after this.